How you going? Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Brendan, and today we're going to build an indestructible farm. Now, if you've been following along with my videos, last time you will have seen that we built this beautiful but completely impenetrable castle. Heap, kind of thing, whatever you want to call it. Massive trench line around the entire thing. Nothing can get it. Like, nothing can, can touch it. And, quite pretty on the inside. Now, the brilliant part about this is that it's completely modular. The way it's designed is that it can extend further out to other actual modules or components or, you know, keep castle sections. And that's what we're going to do with the farm right here. So needs to be able to grow, what is it? Flax and barley, I think it is. And they only grow here. I wonder if, I don't know if I can grow cloudberries, but either way, those two things only grow here in the plains. So I need a farm. Now there's a lot of hostile things, you know, case in point, mosquitoes, goblins that are patrolling around. Like there's a lot of dangerous stuff around here that will just kill me if I come here. So it's best if I just make sick but you know super super safe super secure farm now i did build one back on the other meadows island if you haven't seen that yeah there's videos for that this one's going to be like creme de la creme because it's literally going to be like untouchable so same as last time i'm going to go over here level it all out measure out where the walls will be as well as how far the gap will be between here and then dig the trench line out I'm going to save you guys the hassle because, you know, if you watch the last one, you're not going to want to watch me do it again. So I'm just going to take to the point where I've done that and then we'll get into the building. So level all this and then extend that trench line and then get in the uh, the stone. So it should be a good one. It should be a cool one. I'm looking forward to this. The only downside is that I need to uh, do a lot of terraforming again, but ah, is what it is. Build videos. Now, if you haven't, and I highly recommend it, we've got a Discord. Now, I encourage each and every one of you come join, come hang out, share your build picks. I want to see some of the builds that you guys are doing. Like, that'd be, it'd be awesome to see. I, I always hear people talking about some of the builds that they've done. So it's, it's, it's awesome to see them. Uh, and I'd love to kind of share in that community component and see what it is that other people are building as well as potential ideas and, uh, you know, inspiration for some of my builds. So yeah, come, come join, come hang out. Ooh. Yeah, come join, come hang out, and uh, yeah, get some of those builds. Anyway, I'm going to get started because it's going to take a while. So, lucky you get to skip straight to it, you know, the, 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 the boring, painful part being done. Oh, how I envy you. All right, well, wish oh, I didn't want to take a potion. Wish me luck, and I will check back in with you in a couple of seconds. Or hours for me. Well, we have another raised platform. Would you call it a platform? Well, I'd probably call it a platform. I don't know. It's raised either way. So the outline has been done much like we did last time. Now what I need to do is finish actually building the exterior of the wall. And then from there, I can cultivate the land, obviously. But I'll need to build a bridge in between the two modular sections over this large gap. So that should be interesting to see how we go. I also have a, a goblin just doing laps. My bro's just doing breaststroke. So I'm going to leave him, babe. Um, yeah, it's it's coming along. It's taken a while. Longer than I'd like to admit. A couple of hours a while. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get this wall up. Uh, much like we did last time. I'll get the wall up, get it extended, put the um, palisades in, stuff like that. Make it look all pretty. From there, we'll put banners in, cultivate the land. I oh, will also need to put some stairs in as well. And then a bridge across between the two sections. So that way we can get in and out. And then it's pretty, it's pretty simple. The brilliance of this though is that literally nothing can attack this farm. Like the farm will be perfectly safe. The only way into it I mean, apart from the ladder that's there right now, will be through the actual keep itself. And nothing's getting through that keep. So, 
it's a pretty it's a pretty secure build like, i think probably the easiest uh, and best defense method in this game is just building up because if you build up nothing can actually hit your thing like you're perfectly safe I think probably the only thing that could actually damage the walls would be a troll. I'm pretty sure. And I don't, I don't, I don't think trolls spawn anymore. If I'm honest. I'm not, I don't think they do. Should I, should I pull a locks in? Should I pull a locks in to see what it does? Should I do it? I kind of want to do it. I'm going to do it. But I'm pretty, oh, I set it on fire. I'm pretty sure it won't be able to damage the wall though. Oh, he just won't jump in. Does he just not jump in? Come on, jump in. Oh, well, maybe they're smart and they won't jump in. Interesting. Either way, as you can see, can't do anything. So if you guys are doing a build, easiest method is just to build like a trench and then raise the ground. Nothing like it can't attack you at that point completely indestructible is he gonna go whack my uh okay well played this kind of backfired All right, well, I'm going to go deal with this locks and then I'll get back to uh, building the actual farm itself because, yeah, he's, he's, he's checkmate, checkmating me here. So I'll deal with this and then I'll keep going. So I'll check back in with you guys in a moment. I think he's chilling out. I think he's chilling. Oh, he's just walking on the spot. I think he's chilling out. So I'll leave him there. They're actually kind of useful because if something raids, like skeletons raid or something like that, oh, the locks will actually kill the skeletons. So they're actually they're actually quite useful. This here, here. There we go. All right, so that's the first layer done. So from there, we'll just raise up. To to a second layer is that what i did over there yeah i did that over there so i raised it up to a second layer raise the height of the towers but literally what i've done over there I'm, i don't know why i'm bothering telling you guys because you can literally see what i've done so i'll raise it up another layer raise up the um towers a little bit more top it all off looks like the locks is chilled out and then yeah we'll keep going with that but it's bug along nice bug along nice I do really like these builds, especially when you, you know, do something a little, a little crazy with the, uh, these snap points. When you do something a bit crazy with the landscaping side of things, and then you build into that landscaping aspect, it's, it's pretty neat. Cool. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I do enjoy uh, enjoy these ones. It's like they're cool. I just enjoy building things. To be honest, they are my favorite things. This is going to be tough building it over to the other side. Oh, I'll make it work. All right, let's get these walls filled in. I seriously can't wait to see what's, you know, unlocked in future biomes, whether it's you know, like new crafting materials, new wood, new like whatever. I'm looking forward to seeing kind of how things expand in this game. So but it's expanding on really good. And I still have I still have two more biomes after this one. So I've got yeah, the planes that I need to finish, and then it's Mistlands and then Ashlands after that. And then uh, is it the far north or the forbidden north or something like that is the next one? Which I'm guessing is 
going to be, you know, up in the actual north. It's nuts that I haven't. Like, the game is so big. I've barely explored it, yet I feel like I've done a crazy amount. Yeah, it's not. Crazy. Alright, I'm going to keep plugging along with this. It's honestly so nice being able to build and not be, you know, bullied by things all the time. Like, there's stuff out there, but they can't get me. It, dude just doing laps, man. <laughs> oh. I hope he doesn't despawn. I don't want him to despawn. I want him to stay there. It's funny. Michael Phelps. He's been there. I kid you not. I don't even know when he fell in, actually, but he's been there for ages. I hope he stays there. <laughs> I don't want him to get out. It's funny. We'll see what happens to him. All right. So the wall's at the right height. I still need to raise these towers a smidge, but you know, the wall's at the right height at least. Uh, from there, so I'll, I'll get these towers up a bit more. And then from there, what I'll do is then do the trim on everything. Uh, that would actually, what does that look weird? I'm going to do that over here. Slightly different design to over there. Um, unless my OCD gets me. But yeah, it's... Yeah, it's going to stay there. So I'm just going to get these towers to the right height. Trim them off. Like the building parts are so much quicker and easier. It's the, the terraforming like component that always takes the longest. Like, digging all this out and then raising it, I kid you not, has taken me nearly three hours. And I reckon I'll do this entire build in less than an hour. Does help having all the stone, like, pre-farmed. So if you didn't have it farmed already, it'd take you a bit longer. But having it pre-farmed does help. I'm a hammer broke. Uh, but yeah, so I've put in the... Uh, not the bridge, the door. So this is where the bridge will connect through, right where that banner is. I'm going to have to get rid of that banner, unfortunately. But it'll go through here over Michael Phelps. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be all cultivated in here. It'll be nice. Do I plant some trees in here or do I just do it for farming? I don't know. I might do it as just farming, maybe. I don't know. It'll look, It's going to look cool, though, when everything's done. Because, I mean, we've got the farm here, the keep over there. There'll be probably like a workshop here. And then a dock over here so I can safely park the boat, bring it in and out. Because it's not too bad of a sail straight back to Home Island. Or I can go around the outside, but it's not too bad of a sail. So when I start running black iron back, or is it black metal? I remember, whatever it is. When I start running that back, it'll be, yeah, a lot easier because it's just a straight run. There's Desquito. Legolas, man. Yeah. So, yeah, it's cool. I'll get these uh, raised a little bit more. Trim them off so it looks all pretty. And then, yeah, get it all gone. It's coming along nice, though. I like these building videos. Evidently, so do you guys, because they get the most views out of everything. So, always good to know. Look at him go, he's a speedboat. I need to try and find some friends for him. What's making all that noise? The top, I think it's the top bit that's nearby. There's another disc scooter. You. Stop. I 
I really am I say day. I need to chill out with like the whole OCD ness because it's just takes so much time. Um, I mean, it's technically finished. Technically, I still need to cultivate it and then put down the crops that I need. But it's it's a good it's a actually it's a massive amount of space for crop farming, which is good. Like it's loads of room to be able to grow what it is like whatever it is that I need to grow. Um, I decided to use orange banners because. They're new and I haven't used them yet. Yeah, I mean like yellow, yellow was the banner, is the banner on the island. So orange can be the uh so yellow was the banner for the farm on the island, so orange can be the banner for the farm here in the plains. Because why not? Uh Michael Phelps is still swimming. He's been swimming for several hours now. Uh not giving up, going strong. Living up to his name. Um all I need to do now is sort out the ridge here which is going to be interesting i think i need to dismantle the front of this and kind of mimic that so i need to extend it a little bit and then put a bridge between the two so it'll definitely be doable i just need to get a little creative with it but yeah come along nicely i'm gonna try and figure this out and i'll I can in a minute when I've figured out what it is that I want to do while also making it look good because it needs to go right here yeah it needs to go in there so I just need to figure that and then I'll uh yeah I'll show you when I figured it out. So I kind of got a little bit crazy with uh, this bridge. Uh, and I used a bunch of iron beams. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it does what I want. Um, could just do like a wooden bridge, but... You guys don't watch these videos for some boring old wooden bridge. Like, nah, you want to see something cool. So, yeah, I opted for a complex, annoying stone bridge. Man, nah, it'd look better, right? So, hopefully, this will hold. It should. I think it will. Yeah, we're good, we're good. All right, so now we have a nice stone bridge i just need to trim it off so it kind of looks more castle-y i guess i'm way too ocd is that a good thing like do, are you guys glad that i'm like way too ocd about this i guess it makes for like better builds right because then i'm not just like nah it'll be fine like i'm wanting absolute perfection down to the millimeter all right there we go. I, 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 I kind of had to get a little bit jank with... Oh, hang on, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. So I had to get a little bit jank with the extension up here. I mean, I I, I, I think it looks fine, personally. Because, I mean, it's it's completely feasible. Like, it's, 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 it's understandable and reasonable that there. So I don't think it looks too bad. It's obviously not as clean or as flush as a uh, OCD obviously not as clean or as flush as you know the actual purpose built gatehouses but I think it looks fine it doesn't look as good obviously but there's only so much that I can do with square blocks and it, it, I think it looks fine it's an extension it serves its purpose of what it is oh maybe I can This is my problem. I just think like, oh yeah, what else can I do? Does that look good? I feel like that looks better. I feel like that adds depth. Because before it just kind of looked like, like a floating blank block. But now, yeah, I think, I think that looks better. 
I, I I reckon that looks better because it adds a little bit more depth to it. Otherwise, it just it just looked weird. So, cool. All right. So now I just need to add the little palisades. Nah, three short. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, you got some more stone. Yeah. Just my luck, it runs out in the last one. What was it? Oh, there is. Oh, Michael Phelps, you need to chill, bro. Alright, cool. I'll put some torches and then we can actually uh, cultivate the ground and finally plant all the crops that we want to plant but I mean more or less it's finished like this build's finished we now have a completely indestructible invincible farm because nothing can get it oh why didn't I do a bridge from up here nah it's fine down there yeah, we now have a completely indestructible um, farm. There's nothing can get to it. Like nothing can get to the crops. And in here, I'm perfectly safe. But I love the um, dark wood. It looks so good. There's such a cool fort as well. Like it's, it looks really cool. Everything's come along like really nicely. Any mosquitoes? No. Like everything's come along really good. Like it just looks so crazy. All right, I'm gonna go put the torches in. We'll cultivate the ground, and then have a look at what it looks like. Well, I mean, you guys have already seen it because it'll be at the beginning, but I haven't seen it, so I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like from the uh, viewing platform. But yeah, I'll put those torches in, and then cultivate and. I mean, we're done. What's good, Michael Phelps? Hey, you're walking. Get back to swimming. There you go. Yeah. Torch is put in. Banners replaced. It's looking good. It's it's nice to be back, like, just farming. Like, it's so peaceful just doing, like, some simple farming work. Oh, it's nice to have this done. The farm's actually like the big thing, especially for the planes, because it allows me to kind of progress the story even, even further. The next thing obviously needed is like a workshop, which is also going to be a, like a big landscaping build, because I'm going to do that. Oh, I'm nearly about it. Um, So the, the uh, workshop's going to go over here. So that's also going to be a pretty big, pretty big build as well. Uh, reason being though, however, is because I put it there, it'll be able to connect to the dock that's going to go over there where the longboat can come in and out. And then that allows me to sail in and out, raid the goblin villages, get all like the is it black iron or black metal, I can't remember what it is. Um, Get all, get all the scrap metal that I can then smelt and then turn it into weapons, armor, stuff like that. Upgrade. But the boat's also safe. It's so annoying when the boats get attacked. So, yeah. Everything's coming up Millhouse. But yeah, this is, uh, this is how I made my indestructible farm. I'm sure there's other ways of, uh, you know, making farms that are indestructible, but this was my way. I like it. I am curious if there's other ways that you guys do it. So if there is, as I said at the beginning of the video, join the Discord. Share those photos with me. I want to see some of the other, you know, ways that you guys have built your bases, you know, whether it's through defense or terrain adjustment like I have with a mixture of defense or you know like, I'm curious I'm genuinely curious I've seen like a lot of stuff that people have done and I just like 
blows my mind away how how awesome some of these builds are like i've even got someone who's like uh, I literally have a person who shared a, a photo of their build and it looks awesome. Rather than a circular tower, it's a hexagonal tower. Looks very unique and I actually like it. I mean, I, I like unique. You can't tell from my completely modular fort here. So, yeah, come join it. Hang out. Uh, share those builds with me share some of your stories i'd like to hear some of the things that you guys get up to in this game maybe you have recommendations on things that i should do or check out i would love to hear them if you don't want to join all good i'm gonna get these crops planted and then i'm gonna go check it out from that lookout after that Oh, okay. oh, that's nice. This will look good when it's finished. It's so peaceful. And seriously, like the, the the keep over here is honestly so cozy. Like I, I love the top floor. Oh, there we go. Foul smell from the swamp. It's a perfect example to see if the farm is indestructible. Let's go head over to it. Oh no, Michael Phelps is going to get killed. They're going to jump in there and kill him. No. Yeah, who's on? Can't get me. Blob. Oh. Go, Michael Phelps. Fight. Michael. Oh, uh oh, oh. Fight! Come on! Guys, I think Michael Phelps is dead. Oh, he's right. He's putting up a fight. Let's go. Come on. Get that gold medal. Guys, Michael Phelps didn't make it. RIP. That's depressing. Here you go. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Yeah, all right. Should have swam faster. Anyway. Um, yeah, see? Completely just like, no, they can't get me. They're just looking at me. Should I pull over and... Uh, oh, no, because last time I did that, they went after the... Um, lookout tower, which I don't want them to do. But they can't do anything. He actually... Actually, that blob gave it a red hot try, but... Yeah, they can't they can't make it up here. Which is nice. <laughs> Burn. I want this one to jump on the wall. Oh, there we go. Now they're all stuck in the water. They're all stuck in my trench and they can't do anything. It's OP strat. This is OP strat. You just want a invincible base that nothing can touch it. There you go. You have it right here. How good is that? All right, let's go check out the lookout and see what it looks like from over there. All right. That's crazy. It's, yeah, it's almost double the length. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's farmland, so it needs to be big, but that's, that's awesome. Super happy with that. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really good outcome. Really good results. We now have an invincible farm and an invincible keep. And then we'll be building an invincible workshop and an invincible. Actually, I don't know if the dock will be invincible. I'm saying the word invincible a lot. We're going to have a dock after this as well. So. Yeah, we, we, we trucking. So after this, we'll do the workshop. Then we'll do the dock. Then we're just going to raid and kill every single goblin that we see. Because why not? And Deskitos. I hate Deskitos. 
And then after that, we'll be able to upgrade all our gear, or build all the gear, upgrade it full, and then take on the new boss. And then we're on to Mistlands. So I'm going to call it there. Farm has been done. We're really getting good progress here. Now, if you enjoyed the video and you haven't already, make sure that you hit subscribe, join the family, come hang out, join the Discord. We're getting all this back to front, but that's okay. As long as you guys are enjoying the video, it's fine if I get it back to front. Anyway, if you're still watching, thank you so much for hanging around to the very end, and I will catch you in the next one. See you later.